Hey you guys, welcome back. This week's video is going to be on how to draw morning glories. These flowers are super pretty and I love there's just like such sweet little elements to them and so I can't wait to break it down for you all. Thanks to Hava's Mama 05 for suggesting this flower. Seriously, it was a joy to draw for me. So I'm excited to share with you how to draw it. Let's just get started. Okay, so of course I'm starting with reference photos and I thought I'd kind of give you an idea of what I'm looking for when I'm finding a reference photo. I want to think about different angles of the flower and different stages of its growth. That way I can kind of get a full picture of how I want to approach my drawing. So with morning glories, they kind of grow on these little viney stems that are really beautiful. So I'm just mapping that out briefly with my micron pen, the same one I always use, the number three one. And the first flower that I'm drawing, or the first angle of the flower that I'm drawing is this one, where you can see a lot of the, the little funnel-like piece of the morning glory. When I'm doing this, I'm kind of just thinking about separate petals even though they're all kind of one big petal and I'm you'll see me come in with a pencil to kind of set up that shape in the middle it's just an oval but it's not really there it's not like the way a daisy has that center or a sunflower has that center it's really it's a funnel and it's sloping inward toward that center and so I use that circle as a reference but it's not going to be a prominent piece it's going to really get covered up with these shading lines that you see here to show that it's funneling inward. And then I'm just adding this detail toward the bottom of it. I'm going to draw a bud now really quick. The buds are really beautiful because they kind of spiral in a really gorgeous way and so I wanted to depict that with lines. And then the next flower, here let me just show you real quick with pencil. The shape of that circle that you create with your guideline pencil markings, that can kind of determine the angle that the flower is at. So if the circle is more round, like a really round circle, it looks like you're looking straight down at it. And if, it's, if the circle is placed in the center of the flower, it also looks like you're looking right down on it from the top. And so you won't see a lot of that funnel that happens in the first drawing there. So I'll show you how to draw it from a different angle in a moment but this is kind of picturing it from straight down kind of to an angle to the side And when I'm adding in the um, the open part of the trumpet, you know, like the bell part of it, I'm definitely making sure to map out the edges and I kind of map it out in sections. And so I try and think of it like there are like five petals, four petals, and I'm just drawing that portion as it goes around and then not necessarily relying on that to connect into the center because like I said again, it doesn't really have like a center center like a daisy or a sunflower. So here I'm drawing it at a different angle. You can see that that center marking that I did with the pencil is very um, oval shaped and then it's so far or over to the left. That's just showing that the flower is going to be seen from an angle um, and I'm just drawing these shading lines to show the shape forming into <laughs> the funnel. It's really hard to explain actually but I think that you can see what I mean, um, and especially when you look at the reference photo as well. And then I just add details. I kind of did details with each flower because it's so important to the shape of the flower to be able to see how the flower is really shaped. So now I'm just going in and kind of giving the piece all of its final details. Just adding those really cute parts of the flower that make it so like sweet. All those little elements like the buds and a couple different angles of the flower. As well as some leaves and some vines. 
This one is from underneath, basically, so kind of looking up at the flower. So you can kind of understand what I mean when I say that it's funnel shaped. And so I'm just adding the shading and kind of that piece that's spelling out like a trumpet, just like that. Thickening up the stem, that's the main stem, and then there's these little like wispy, viney kind of spiral pieces that come up with little teeny leaves, and I just think that's beautiful. Another thing that's beautiful about the Morning Glory is the leaves. The leaves are kind of heart-shaped and really sweet, and so I just like to draw that in this way. This one that I'm drawing here, I think it's kind of shriveling up and dying. So remember how I talked about stages of life? I think I captured that in that one, like the last stage of its life, which is actually it's kind of sad because it doesn't look like it really bloomed at all. It kind of just gave up. And that happens sometimes, I guess. So just adding more leaves, different sizes, adding some detail to the leaves if I feel like it. I kind of just like the lines of the leaf. But yeah, that's pretty much it. The Morning Glory is a very gorgeous flower, and I really enjoyed drawing it. All right, you guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful or enjoyed it, be sure to let me know. And if you end up trying out drawing the morning glory, then be sure to tag me on Instagram or something like that or send it to me through like a message or something like that. I really love seeing your work and I would love to encourage you in that. So um, yeah, hope you guys have a great weekend and all that good stuff and I'll see you guys next Friday. Bye!